Uh, good morning, it's Rod McBeth, the Tri-City Morning Show. Uh, special guest, very special guest, Paul Strawn, Anita Johnson, Patty, you're here. Uh, hello, how are you two? Doing very well. Wonderful. Thank uh, you for having us. Well, thank you for being here. Now, uh, Patty, you live and work out of the uh, the Florida area. Yes. And you made the trek up here. Paul, you live and work in Toronto. Yes. I am so sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. You come from Bahamas, and uh, from what I've seen in pictures, I've not been to Bahamas, but Robin Wachelle and our very own Jackie B uh, spent a lot of time. Jackie B was born in the Bahamas, I believe, and uh, they, they say nothing but great stuff about it. It's a great country, great destination. We'd love to have more Western Canadians like yourself come and visit us. Sunshine, warmth, year-round. Umbrella drinks? Umbrella drinks. A lot of umbrella drinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is good, but see, living on the West Coast here, it, it, the tourism uh, people, the, uh, the, the travel agents say, well, you, you've got to go to Mexico, you've got to go to Hawaii, you've got to go to Cuba, and they don't really push Bahamas. I, I think we've got to change that, don't we? Absolutely. Uh, I think that happens because I think... Uh, Western Canadians have historically just gone dead south or west. But, you know, going to the Eastern Caribbean and countries like the Bahamas is just r roughly, you know, 80 kilometers off the south coast of Florida. It's not that much of a stretch. No, not at all. It in the may be an hour max, more so in miles. terms of a, of, a, of a flight Yes, going mm -hmm. to Cuba or so, but it's just as accessible. We have lots of flights. Excellent. Now, uh, your, your dollar, is it based on the American dollar? It is. So we know what we're going to get when we get down there. Now... Uh, you go to Hawaii, you cannot get all-inclusive. Do you have all-inclusive in Bahamas? We do. Excellent. Absolutely do. Uh, now, you've got uh, like 80,000 beaches out there? Uh, more than that. We have 700 <laughs> islands, so Seven, we have yeah. countless number of beaches. Uh, that, that's amazing. And uh, the, the pirate romance of the pirate Blackbeard and his boats and his pirates use Bahamas as a, a port? No, I don't think so. Wasn't it Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah that's, but that, that was way back in the day. Yes. I know, but yes. well, they don't have. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some modern day pirates, but we won't oh, discuss yeah. those. Yeah. No. <laughs> but you look at that, and and I think I also fell in love with uh, Bahamas through a lot of the James Bond movies. Oh, yes. yes. Several yes. of them were filmed. Well, you there. know, yeah. we have a variety of options in terms of the beautiful islands in the Bahamas beyond Nassau and Grand Bahama, and you're talking about James Bond. Exuma, um, there were several uh, movies that he made there. The Thunderbolt Grotto, um, The Underwater there. Um, Nassau, he did some movies. Grand Bahama, so several different islands. There's definitely affinity between the James Bond franchise and the Bahamas. Yeah, so and uh, the Bahamas themselves. So uh, why did you, how, you, you came to town for a reason. What is the reason you, you two are in town? Uh, well, we're this? doing a media tour. We want, uh, obviously, the Canadian media to know what we have to offer. There are lots of new developments going on within the destination, lots of new hotels, new bills. Uh, we're launching a very, very exciting uh, destination wedding promotion. Oh, wow. Yeah, where we're offering 16 couples the opportunity to get married in the Bahamas on November 16th at 1600 hours. Hey, Robin, you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a, we're giving away 10, we're giving away 16, $10,000 wow. destination weddings. That is amazing. Yeah. And that's throughout North America, throughout Canada? Just, throughout this is Canada. exclusive to Canada. 16, $10,000 weddings exclusive to Canada. Absolutely. Yes. Wow, I think I might just look to yeah, get married again yeah, one day. No, just, to go down there. That's just register by, by May 16th. <laughs> and where it's did you register easy. at? Bahamas16weddings.com. Bahamas16weddings.com. And what we're encouraging Canadians to do is to log on to the site, and yeah. we have suggested theme weddings. But we want we encourage you to, you know, explore the micro site and get creative and infuse something that's indigenous to the destination or the island that you chose into a theme wedding. And create your own authentic Bohemian yes, way. Yes, this promotion, and we'll pay for it. Exactly. <laughs> this promotion showcases the, the beauty, the diversity, the personality of the islands. And, you know, beyond this 16 weddings promotion, you know, the islands of the Bahamas is so romantic. It's a very sexy destination. So um, the, brides will, the, the bride and groom will certainly see that. So that, that's, that is, that's fantastic. And, and sexy, that's the big thing. Um, I think... You talk about Bahamas, and it's got that sexiness, the beaches, and just I, every picture I see has got a hammock in it. And yes. who doesn't love a hammock? Exactly. We call it from, we have a theme now for this year, um, from the Bahamas with love. And um, that encompasses just romance. And whatever romance means to you, that's what it is. Excellent. We're now, all about love this year. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you got the look in your eyes. <laughs> Now, um, if, I ha if I go to Bahamas, do I need a passport or do I just need my other travel documents? 
You need a Canadian passport. You need a Canadian passport, okay. And uh, is there anything else we've got to cover while you're here? Because, I mean, you're not going to be here every week because you, you live on the other side of the world. Well, there but. is an exciting event coming up. Mm -hmm. The second annual Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival. Wow. And uh, Grand Bahama, which is April 14th to 16th. And, and Nassau Paradise, May 5th to 7th. And you really, your, your, your listeners really need to come to the Bahamas for this. So if they miss the Grand Bahama one, you, you know, they'll get to the, the Nassau Paradise. And they have something called Road Fever in Nassau on May 6th, where visitors and Bahamians alike just party in the street. And you can just go on BahamasJunkanooCarnival.com, buy your costume now. And you're there, and there's lots of packages available. So when you say carnival, is it like the carnival in, uh, in Rio or the carnival in uh, um, Trinidad? Trinidad? Is it like similar yes. to that? Yeah. It's a participant. Yes. It's John Canoe is more spectator, but Bahamas John Canoe Carnival is participant. Excellent. Uh, that, that sounds like fantastic. It's funny because we have a mutual friend, Robin and I, and uh, she mentioned Bahamas and then mentioned something else, and all of a sudden her and her hubby hopped into the Bahamas, and I think they're down there this week, Kathleen, and, uh, and Greg went down, and just uh, they're, they're taking in an Alan Doyle concert and uh, uh, sitting in the sunshine and having umbrella drinks, and we're up here. <laughs> But we hope to change that when you come down and have an umbrella drink as well. That is, I, I love that. Anita Johnson Patty, uh, Paul Strawn, Bahama Tourism, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you oh, so much for having you us. Thank you so much for Pleasure. having us.